everyone is very happy I can interview the president of the House of China, David She. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So could you please talk about your educational background a little bit? Well, I have a bachelor's degree in political science and I have a master's degree in public administration from USC. Okay. Any career background want to share with our um, Most of my career was in public service with local government, so I was involved in human resources. How many years you stay as a position as the president of the House of China? Um, actually, the House of China was formed in 1935, just before the 1935 World's Fair. And the intent of the House of China was to promote, preserve, and present Chinese culture and friendship. So that's done through Cultural Open House. And this year, we've expanded beyond the Sunday Cultural Open House to Saturdays and fourth Tuesdays in the park. So it goes back actually to my grandfather who was the English secretary of the Zhonghua Wei Gun and uh -huh. uh, I've been involved you know, during my um, uh, young adult days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many years you serve as the president of the House of China? Guy, several decades actually. It's wow, very, that's very a long time, time consuming because of not only meeting the requirements of the city for a cultural open house, but we also serve the general community with an annual essay contest. We've done things jointly with Confucius Institute at the Oregon mm. Pavilion for Moon Festival. Then there's many other requests that we uh, try to uh, accommodate as well. How many big festival or events you host per year? Um, well, in terms of just basic open house, uh, I would say we do over a hundred, but wow. in terms of big cultural events, mm -hmm. figure Spring Festival, mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Time, Moon oh. Festival, so three to four major uh, events. Yeah, I did a performance for the House of China for several times. It's really good. You have mm -hmm. lots of big cultural events, mm -hmm. lots of volunteers participate mm -hmm. in your events. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a good connection and the bridge mm -hmm. between the Chinese immigrants mm -hmm. and the culture. Mm -hmm. So do you have any suggestion for our younger generation to pursue their future dreams? Well, I think there's a lot more opportunities because I do see a higher education level among many of the new immigrants, a lot of entrepreneurial yes. experience, whereas because I'm third generation, I know there were times that my mother was not allowed to use the Y. My parents oh. could not buy a house in certain neighborhoods. At that time, a lot of my classmates, their parents were the laundrymen, they were the small grocery stores because there were no opportunities for the Chinese at that time. But a number of things have really dramatically changed because, again, education, entrepreneurial spirit. So just try everything, enjoy everything. You don't know what direction life will take you. An interesting story during your career? Um, I, I, I think uh, I've always been interested in governmental affairs and public service. So it's just meeting a lot of people trying to assist them. And I continue to do that through church and other activities. Okay, thank you very much. I'm so happy I can interview the David of the House of China. If you have any questions, please contact him. And he's a very nice person. Thank you. Mm -hmm.